This is Twit. So let's talk about these iPads here. Uh, and by the way, all of this is exactly as rumored, right? Were there yeah. were there any surprise that maybe that hover thing is a surprise? We didn't know hover, about that. Hover was new. Yeah, I haven't heard about that. Yeah. And that and that seems like I can't wait to get my hands on that. The idea that uh, if you uh, now if it's if the sensors are good enough that if you just hover the pencil over the screen, it will show you the target uh, uh, below it. Uh, so it's kind of it's kind of it's kind it's like three D touch, but in the opposite direction from the screen. Uh, and for art apps, they just just know where you're about to play to plunk down your 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 pointer is just a big big deal. I well, think, and I think that scribble it, sensing it, it is a huge one to me. Yeah, you know? I I think that the other thing that potentially could happen there is spray painting. So oh. now you're not touching the surface. You yeah. can go over it and um, and lay layers of spray paint, which has been something that you can do with uh, Wacom the high end Wacom tablets and so on and so forth. Is not yeah. actually touch the surface. So it'll be really good interesting point. for re photo retouching as well. Yeah, good point. Yep. You can so you yep. can see what you're doing to the lights and the shadows while you're doing it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So. For vibrant colors, uh, and they are vibrant, frankly, except for the silver. Uh, they're it's very they're very they look like uh, the iPhone C. Remember, they really are yeah. very colorful. Yep. Yeah, they're very personable. I'm I'm, I'm glad to see they one put looks more amazing. color. <laughs> yes, they, they keep they keep breaking new ground on new ways to have words to describe the word gray. And this uh, is a redesign, yeah, I, right? The uh, squared off. Uh, yep case is kind of more and like the ipad pros from last year so that's the all pig all pixel screen too which is good or you know it's all glass so the buttons on the top instead of being in the bottom more than that the camera's on the top instead of being Yay. on the side <laughs> what a big difference you know oh, i might man. have to get my yeah. mom this because she's always looking in the wrong place <laughs> putting her thumb on the side yep, yep. uh putting it on the top now makes it more like a laptop which is very smart Ultra wide really 12 megapixel front camera, 12 mm -hmm. megapixel back camera. They say updated. A USB C port. This is on the uh, the new yeah. iPad. So it is USB C. It's not Lightning. Yeah. It supports a wide range of accessories, Wi Fi 6. I thought it was 6E. The Maybe Pro is 6E. The Pro is 6E. Okay. Yes. Not that that matters for most people, but, mm -hmm. you know, it's the first. Uh, iPad with 6E, I believe. Um, new Magic Keyboard Folio. It doesn't have that weird uh, lift-up thing anymore. It's just a regular flat kickstand. It's got yeah. a kickstand, which actually I think is probably better because now you're lying the keyboard flat on the surface, right? So it's going to have less give, I would think. I don't know. <sighs> Maybe. Maybe. Uh, but also, also look at the row of function keys on the thing. That is, they, they, did, they did so much to make this like inexpensive, like $450 tablet into why would you, why on earth would you even consider buying a Windows tablet? Because this is, we're making, we're making so many accommodations towards the real world of people who are, people who are like, man, I would love this, but it's kind of a close race and, oh, I just can't deal with lighting or, oh man, I'd love this. It's a close race, but I really need actual function keys for for uh, for a lot of the uh, virtualization that I do this is such a compelling product in so many ways it's very exciting um Greg Joswiak said we're so excited to bring the completely redesigned iPad to our most advanced iPad lineup ever why even bother Greg <laughs> <laughs> I still think I still. I'm just waiting for like you know this one isn't as good as the last one, but yeah. you know it's, we've had we've had some supply issues and you know yeah. you know. Um, <laughs> it's it's funny they always get the crap taken out of them for saying that the next one is the best one ever because of course it is, but I I'm trying to find out why do they do it like what makes it a thing especially when you know everyone's teasing you because there are always new people <laughs> being brought to the do. ecosystem. Oh no, because it's funny until they stop. <laughs> Well, here's the thing that's hilarious. It's starting to come up in like the regular comedy stuff, right? So SNL did something and they had a joke recently and they're talking about the iPhone. Oh, yeah, this one, the best one ever. So like now it's getting down Everybody to where regular knows. people, yeah. not just the nerds are doing it. Yeah. But yeah. I think the only thing that I can process in my head is they realize there's new people coming to the ecosystem all the time. So for them, this language is new and it makes them feel like they're getting in on something dope. But mm -hmm. it's funny to us. Is uh, the display slightly bigger, right? It, it's now 10.9 inch instead of 10.2. So they have reduced yeah. the bezels. It's probably as much as they're ever going to because you still need to hold it 
somewhere. Yeah. yeah. Uh, liquid retina display, A14 Bionic, first ever landscape front camera, USB-C. I think the USB-C is telling. I mean, the, the, there's no That's, lightning yeah. in, in any of this. This is the, the, the I think the difference I think the what what the difference between Apple Silicon and Intel is to the Mac the difference between USB C and Lightning is to the iPads or really every every yeah, other product yeah, if you feature. don't have a USB C port yeah, yeah maybe you should hold off another year yeah uh, I by the way iPad OS sixteen uh, which they said will be coming out for all of us with iPads uh, well all of us with iPad Pros and some of us with regular iPads uh, on Monday. Hmm. Your order, which can be made today for both the new <laughs> Apple TV and the new iPads, is uh, delivered Wednesday. Not tomorrow, well, October 26th. <laughs> Not tomorrow. I was like, don't get I was your like, hopes really? up. I can give me a <laughs> don't get your hopes up. Are you going to order this, uh, Doc Rock? Uh, no, I have my my M1 iPad Pro, which I, I absolutely yeah. love. I don't feel any, and yeah, I'm the same way. I don't feel any need. Yeah, well, I'm definitely not going to switch to M2 yet because, like, like a ding dong again. This is normal for me. When I got the M1 iPad Pro, I filled it, so it was twenty five hundred bones. <laughs> but <laughs> I, I, you know, like one thing I just realized, I forgot that I, iPad 16 wasn't out already because I've been on the beta <laughs> for so long. But I literally forgot it didn't exist because we have it on the phone, right? So yeah, that's kind of funny to see that announcement. I'm like, what do you mean coming out? It's been out. iPad. <laughs> OS. We don't have that yet. Yeah, yeah. You have totally the beta. forgot. Yeah. Public yeah. Beta. So I, it, it is so good that I literally forgot that I've been using beta. That's and good. that's a that's a good thing for the people who will be upgrading, you know, come th this week or next week, is that it is really, really stable. And yes, yeah, I don't use that stage thing on it though, because that, that just yeah. freaks me out. I will be interested. Freeform is coming out with uh, iPad OS. I, we thought maybe it was going to be delayed, so I will be very interested to see what you think of that. I feel like that's there's some stealth thing they're doing there with Freeform, or maybe it's just a, yeah. another one of those apps that somebody wrote and they threw it in, and then now ignore <laughs> it for the rest of uh, its its life. It was it, it was a, it was a nice reassuring piece of news. I'm, I'm I have to correct myself. I said that uh, the release of Data Ventura is indeterminate, but I forgot. No, no, that it's that Monday was as well. Another, yeah. That was exactly. Yeah. So yeah. So so knowing so knowing that they're not. Uh, there also, I think the announcement also said that yes, Stage Manager will be part of uh, of uh, Ventura. It's not like they're going to say, "Oh, that's going to be." A, that's there, there's a there's a technology preview in place and for for uh, for early betas. But then you will get the we'll we will deliver the actual product in about a month after that. The fact that they're shipping they're they're, they're shipping uh, Stage Manager next Monday is good. I mean, it, it, at least they feel as though it's stable enough that it's not going to break people's heads. The if It might make, break people's heads the new user interface, but again, that's like we talked about last week, if they don't want to use it, people don't have to use it. But it has to, you have to put it out there and get people start to hammer on it before they can figure out how to make it even better. Pricing is yeah. a little higher. They're still going to offer the ninth generation base model for $329. Uh, this one, kind of more, it's not, they didn't label it an Air, but it's kind of more Air priced, 449 uh, if you want cellular, five ninety nine, that's a bigger bump. It used to be a hundred twenty nine dollar bump, right? And now it's a hundred fifty dollar bump to get uh, cellular in there. Maybe that's the five G tax. Uh, it'll come in sixty four gig and two hundred fifty six gig configurations. Nothing in between. You either get it all or nothing. Uh, it, oh, by the way, Apple Pencil first generation only, right? So is that a disappointment? Do we want to use the second generation on this thing? I guess that's for the pros. Well, how do you, if it's USB-C, how do you charge Oh, it? charge. Uh -oh. You get a, I guess you got to have a cable. You oh, have it a has, cable that adapter, adapter, adapter came with it. Yeah. Oh, okay. yeah, that adapter. tiny, you can't tiny plug little it in. adapter. Yeah. You have to get some adapter now to like plug it in. A dongle of yeah. shame, yeah. as Dave <laughs> Schaub calls it in our chat room. A dongle of shame. Wow. And most of us lost that little nub in that came I with know. it <laughs> like years ago. Know. But also, and even the Apple TV a while back came with a little nub oh, in. Ah. That was so somewhere around here I have it, but I use a second gen yeah. pencil. So here's the thing that that's amazing to me. And, and Alex mentioned this earlier. Now in iPad game, we got a lot of skews. Like that's on Apple. Like <laughs> there are a metric. Uh, there's three, Apple basically three levels, but then there's sizes. Well, because pro. now we have Pro in two sizes. We right. have iPad. We have iPad 4 Gen, iPad 9, I mean 10 Gen, and iPad I will say, 9 Gen. Do we have the Air anymore? Is the Air gone? 
Yes. No, it's still there. Oh, that's what I'm saying. We have confusing. a lot of skews right yeah. now. Mm, wonder why. That's interesting. It's, so they didn't kill the I, I feel air. like Apple's been doing a lot of skews for a lot of things. And it, it, I, I will say I agree that with the doc that it's. They're getting it's away getting, from the uh, yeah, it's getting, Steve Jobs thing. Yeah, and and I to some degree I see it in in the sense that there are we use it for different things. Um, we definitely we I have a bunch of minis that I use for one thing, and mine personal ones are the pros. And you know we've we've used a bunch of things, so it's it's I kind of get it, but it's still kind the of mini was not updated, was it? Uh, uh, last year, sometime. Think, yeah, but the, there was that? a rumor that they were going to update the mini. I guess not. Oh, you know, not this time. And and Andy's right. Like the mini is definitely one of the iPads that is, to use an Andy word, ecumenical. It is religious. Everybody <laughs> that has a mini, don't give me nothing. I else. love my I mini. I want my I mini. I love my it's mini. Yeah. And I don't need an upgrade on my mini. <laughs> to yeah, be honest. Min I'm mini going, is like the what? converse Chuck Taylors back in the day. Chuck Taylors for certain people were religion. Like yeah. I don't need all of these fancy shoes with these pumpings and straps. I just needed Chucks. Yeah. And so to me, the mini is much like Chucks and it comes in all those colors. <laughs> and I use my pencil too. And I charge it on the side of my iPad mini. <laughs> yeah. So there, you're right. There's a lot of skews. There's the iPad mini from $4.99. The iPad from three twenty nine, the new iPad from four forty nine, the iPad Air from five ninety nine, and the iPad Pro from seven ninety nine. Too many yeah. SKUs. And, too and many. I, SKUs. Do, I do think the iPad. What's the difference between an iPad the, and iPad Air? You know, yep. that's going to confuse people in the stores. Yeah. I, I, I think the I think the iPad Air needs to go. I don't. I don't. Yeah. I, 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 I see. So I see so many situations which I would say, no, 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 just get the regular iPad and max it out. Don't spend the extra money on that. Yeah. Or I would say, oh, you know what? For you, spend the extra money and get the iPad Pro, even if you have to get like one that doesn't have that much storage on it, because you are absolutely going to absolutely going to adore that thing. I, it's it's hard to know where the iPad Air exists. Yeah, why pay 150 bucks more for an iPad Air? I don't yeah. I don't understand. Yeah, we said that when the regular came out. When the ninth gen came out, we said that right. the new one passed the Air. And that was almost a year ago. Well, of course, the Air has the M1 chip, but dirty little secret. <laughs> so is the A14 is the M1 chip. So I don't <laughs> I don't know why. That's an interesting game Apple's playing with that. I, mean, I guess maybe the M1 has more cores or something, or it's an interesting game. Uh, I would say, yeah, you don't need the air. It's got more muted colors. It's not as candy colored. Is that an iPhone in your hand? Wait a second. Is that an Apple watch on your wrist? And do I, do I see an iPad sitting there on the table? Oh my goodness. You are the perfect person to be watching iOS today. The show where Rosemary Orchard and I, Micah Sargent, talk all things iOS, tvOS, watchOS, HomePod OS. It's all the OSs that Apple has on offer, and we show you how to make the most of those gadgets. Just head to twit.tv slash iOS to check it out.